140. First pitch of the day for Banks, who looks for room and finds about nine around the left side of the 29 yard line all day long. But when they are head to head, it'll be worth watching. Sherman decides to keep on a roll, and he is a couple yards shy at the 28. Williams in motion. Greasy all day, and it is brought in by Williams, but driven out at the 40, and he'll be short of the first down. We'll see if the crowd may play a part in the difficulty of play changes at the line. Banks to the 15. 46% almost as effective as Michigan on the third downs. And they run Banks, and he will be a yard and a half shy this time. Third and nine, Greasy, well protected, but it's picked off by Cooks. Perry Cooks is brought down at midfield by Chris Howard, returns 15 yards, his second interception of the season. And in this case, Kerry Cooks, the fine, strong safety and the defensive captain for Iowa, actually read his eyes. He could actually see the eyes of the quarterback. Cooks is in coverage here. Wonderful job. And the first man to move that time snapped it. Derrick Rose. Sherman didn't get the exchange, and Michigan recovered. Silent drill so that this never happens. He was not expecting this football to be snapped. The center made an error, but the quarterback should have been able to hang on to the ball and at least get on the ground. So on third and 28, Lucy bumped by his own man, hangs this one up for Ty Streets and off his fingertips at the 25. Standing on his 15 in the exchange of turnovers, Iowa gets a blocked punt. And they'll take over at the 18-yard line. Joe Slattery coming in seemingly untouched. Iowa yet to be scored on in the first. Sherman off the fake to Banks, going for the end zone. And this one is picked off by Marcus Ray at the one. With his fourth interception of the year, the first by Marcus Ray. Get Williams out in motion. They go draw play Howard, and Chris Howard weaves for a key Wolverine first down at a 14-yard line. Two tight ends this time. Aaron Shane went in motion. And Howard out in the clear and chased by Thigpen. Finally catches him from behind at the 42. Second and nine. And the freshman Anthony Thomas gets the call for the first time. He's got another Michigan first. So this drive that started on their own one now reaching the Iowa 47. Go out there and get ready to play, and Jared looks like he's ready. Iowa's run only 10 plays all game. The 11th play of this drive is picked off at the five-yard line by Plez Atkins. You pull it down and run and do the best you can. With hitter with a fullback, Berger broke one tackle, but not the second one. He does have the Iowa first. He's all ready for this Iowa attack. Weaving his way all the way. Tavian Banks gone. Touchdown, Banks for Iowa. 53 yards. His right guard, who's considered to be a big league prospect himself. This is 4.2340 40 speed. Well, Iowa already with more points than they average allowing all season. Russell Shaw on a perfectly timed route and pass, and he brought it in for the first down in 16 yards. A chance for a big play there. So that leads to a scramble on third and seven, hemmed in. Greasy lets that one fly for the Iowa sideline. Incomplete as the blitz was descending on Sherman, intended for Tony Collins. Set up the 53-yard Tavian Banks touchdown. Here's Howard. And Chris Howard with some strong running in this first half. 13 yards. On second and 10, plenty of protection. And Tillman out there roaming free again inside the Hawkeye 30, where Gibson undercuts him 18 yards on his third catch of the first half. Doing it again. Second and seven, and here's Thomas. A lot of power to go with his straight on speed. Big a play as the Iowa defense has yet faced. Greasy, not pressured for the end zone. Caught. 
touchdown. Marcus Ty Streets with the catch from Brian Greasy. The ball is thrown into a very small window. As you see, number 86 Streets work his way on the curl. That looks like a lot of space, but that's a difficult throw. Mark it out over the crowd on third and 11. Off the play fake, intercepted at the 45, the second in this first half for Marcus Ray. Sword didn't see Marcus. So Michigan, now thinking about a halftime lead, forget it. Interception, Ed Gibson with a big return. Inside the five, stretches toward the goal line and almost made it. At the one, Iowa, after a 63-yard return by Ed Gibson, will have it first and goal. With his first pick of the year to set up the Iowa touchdown. As the fullback, Berger, opportunities. And that's the first this year for Berger. The extra point is blocked. <laughs> on the right side. What they go, draw play for Howard, and it's knocked loose. It looked after the tackle, but the ball recovered at the 41 by Iowa. Jared DeVries got a nice play going here, does Howard. DeVries tackles the ball, knocks it out. Nice play by the big man. The Michigan offense has given it up four times on giveaways. The defense, though, trying to get it back for him once more. And this one is batted around, and with, with three blue jerseys converging on it, none of them can come up with it. First time out just called by Iowa. They each have two. Williams, nothing, no game. They line up right in front of one another and hope that, uh, that Dwight is able to guess right, and in this case, he is driven back inside his 40 on a big punt by Vincent. Reverses field, gets a block, and weaves the other way, and he's got a go. Tim Dwight brings this one back as time elapses in the first half. Mercy, 61-yard return by Dwight. And over 100,000 very unhappy Wolverine fans in the big house. This goes straight on to the Tim Dwight highlight reel. One of his best. And it makes for a 21-7 Iowa halftime lead here. And only 84 total yards in the first half. Certainly, they have passed, but they're down. Williams, a nice game, swinging out and knocked out at the 48 after 16 yards by Plez Atkins. Here's a third and six. Greasy has to step away from DeBree and wide open in the end zone is Russell Shaw for the Michigan touchdown. Covered here by Ed Gibson, number 26. But he just knocks him down. Might be. Draw play and Banks able to show that burst. Shook into the clear and he's got a first down for Iowa. Gibson again, matched with Woodson on the other side. Looks for Dwight, overthrows it. They're sparkling seasonal average on third. DeVries, though, almost untouched to wrap up Greasy. Here comes Dwight on the reverse. Gets away from Hall. Chased by Fizell. Knocked out of bounds by Peterson. Sherman finds Banks underneath, but he can't find any room at all, and wiping him out from behind was Renus. And a better than two to one advantage in total yards gets even bigger. Here's a cut back by Thomas, and Anthony Thomas has one man to beat. With an angle, Eric Thigpen shoves him out inside the five. Greasy on the sneak, and that time it works. Yeah, and that time the big guys up front did something with their feet. And on the previous two plays, they did not respond in the same fashion. Jay Feely often doesn't get you one to return, but White brings this one from the three, and he again finds some open room. Tim White in a foot race and knocked out. 
They will mark him at the 27 yard line, but he's done it again to Michigan from the 26 of the Wolverine. Fabian Banks thought he saw room to the left. Didn't last long. Clint Copenhaver wrapped him up at the 32. Well, if they kick it, it's just 38 yards for Zach Brommer. Because they scored mostly touchdowns, he hasn't tried that many this year. This one is on the mark, and it does break the time. It's another punt to Tim White. And they come after Greasy, got it off in time for Tim, but he is immediately buried by Cooks at the 30. By three, Hawkeyes take it over and look to go to the air. Sherman, for the first time today, has a completion to Tim Dwight. 1,000 plus. They pick up the blitz, and he is out of bounds on the catch by Gibson. Loss of four, second and 14. Williams. Clarence Williams breaks one off to midfield where he's knocked out by Thick Pen. That's 15 for Clarence. Greasy off the play fake, and there's DeVries again. He is just wearing out Chris Zeman. Streets is right. On third and 30. Greasy had the roll, fire one up, and out of bounds intended for Streets. TV's which has been superb today. Banks tripped up. He's going to be two yards shy of the first. Short drop. Greasy with a pump fake. And buried at the 17. For the man that moved for Iowa. Greasy finally with some time. And another catch by Jeremy Tillman. 20 more. 15 more yards out at the 30. With only five minutes left, it's still down. Thomas breaking through the middle for eight or nine. Play fake, Greasy on the roll, pulls up. There's Jeremy Tillman, and Michigan leads. It's a brilliant play call. Coaches like me and others love to talk about gut checks and bending your knees and knocking people back at the goal line. But you also better be able to do things like this. A little deception, three tight ends in the game. Excellent poise by the quarterback, Brian Greasy. Ian Gold through the middle. They pick him up on his blitz. Sherman finds Gibson. And Gibson in the open field, dragged down at midfield by Charles Woodson. But Iowa is still alive on a 22-yard Sherman to Gibson connection. Coming again with a blitz, and they got him, Clint Copenhaver. Sherman steps up again. There's an open man up the right side for another big chunk goes Banks, who has done most of his damage on the ground today. This time, he bites off 29 yards worth. Sherman from the 26. Pressure from Steele, steps up. And it's intercepted by Sam Sword. First interception of the year right here. Sam has taken over the leadership in the absence of Eric Mays. And Matt Sherman did one of those inexplicable things. He'll not be able to explain this to himself. It's how it feels. There's nothing quite like it in the world. Look at these youngsters that have worked so hard to get to this place. Michigan wins it. Storming from behind, 28-24.